what up, players? Subscribe! What up, players? What about stay up in this mood? Today I'm going to teach you how to do some scarring on your figures. This is a war boss tutorial on how to paint scars on your figures. Scars are a great way of giving character to your models. And if your models already have scars molded onto them, then this is a great way for you to highlight them and bring them up so that you can really showcase your skills as a painter. They're really simple to do, but they're also really simple to overdo by making them too bloody or gory and making them just stand out when they shouldn't. So I'm going to teach you my method of doing scars on a model. The first thing you need is a model painted up just about completed, painted up to uh, just about a, you know, what your finished product is going to be. And so in this case, here's an Empire Warrior Priest with two-handed weapon. And I've painted up his skin with Talern Flesh, highlighted up with Deneb Stone. And I did just about everything on this model except paint the scar. So the first thing you're going to use is a wash. And the wash is Leviathan Purple. And you're simply going to take a little bit of that Leviathan Purple and paint a thin line across the scar. And this works with any human skin colored model, but it can also work for for an elf, which is usually lighter skinned, or even dark elves or dark Eldar, which have paler skin tone contrast. You just want to take a little bit of that Leviathan purple and drag it across the scar. If you're using a uh, alien creature like Crute or, or an orc, which has a totally different skin color, then you probably want to use a different shade, either a thin down red gore or ball or ball red wash or a thin down blood red just to make the that's that skin color a little bit different but for ours since we're using a human skin color we're going to use Leviathan purple so I'll see you when that's done okay so now that that's done you can see the clear outline of the scar and what you're going to do now is you're going to add a little bit of the skin color, which in this case is Talarn Flesh. You're going to add a little bit of Talarn Flesh to a little bit of what the darkest blood color would be. So in this case we're going to use not blood red because that would be too bright, but we're going to use red gore. And mix that in with the Talarn Flesh and then we're just going to lightly trace down the scar in the center the lightest part of the scar we're going to give it that that a little bit of that l bloody gory color okay so that's the wash first and then the mix of the blood and the skin tone and i'll be right back when that's finished okay so now we're almost done what we actually did there is give a almost pinkish color to the middle of the scar and that will work if you want to leave it as something that's healing or maybe as a burn wound that that will actually work so if you want to stop right there you're more than welcome to the last step that we're going to do though if you want to continue and go for the fresher more raw look to the scarring is you're going to take a glaze which means at least three or four parts water to one part paint of your darkest gory color, in this case red gore, and you're going to just lightly glaze it down the center of, of the scar. So once we've built up that, that pinkish aggravated skin color, we're going to now give it a little bit of some fresh blood to it if you want to make it look like that. So, so right now, after the second step, you can finish and be perfectly happy with it. But if you want to continue, then just take a little bit of red gore, water it down greatly, and just lightly glaze it down the center. You want to use just a little bit on your brush because you don't want it to, to
to spread to the rest of the surface model. Okay, and we'll see you when it's done. All right, and then the last step is that after, was the last, did I say the last step the last time? No, this is the last step. You're gonna take your original skin color, your base, Taline Flesh, and you're gonna run a line right down the center of your scar so that it doesn't look like a line of lipstick, but actually like a, like it's starting to heal across the center and scab and it's just around the sides where it's still really irritated. So that is actually the last step. I'm sorry if I said the step before was the last, but that is it. So there you have it. The thing about scars is that it's really easy to just paint the whole thing red and just leave it at that, but then it, it'll look like your model has a streak of lipstick down his face, which uh, is, not, is not good. So you want it to look like either it's starting to heal or, or maybe that it was a little bit, just a little bit fresher than than that but you don't want it to look like you just got it because then you'd have to do a whole lot of blood effects and painting 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 the blood which is also another option to make it just a really fresh bloody scar but in most cases it'll help the model where we want the scar to just complement the rest of the model when you see the model at first glance you want glance you want it to complement the rest of the model rather than Say, holy cow, we need to get that guy to a medic. So, there you have it. There's my little war boss tutorial on how I do my scars. And, again, like I said, you can use this for any model that has these scars already modeled onto them. And if they don't have it modeled onto them, then what you could do is you could do it yourself. And just start with the Leviathan Purple Wash and, 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 and do that. Or, if you're feeling a little bit adventurous you could take your hobby knife and create the scar make the line by by s digging scraping a, a, a scar into the face of your model and you just want to be careful with that because you you know you put too much pressure and you you'll split your head in half so it's always a lot more helpful and for this model for this tutorial I used a model that already had a scar modeled onto his face but best of luck I hope that this tutorial helped you out and proved useful to you. And please let me know if there's anything else that I can do that I've painted on one of my models that, that you'd find interest in learning more about and I can help you out with that. Alright, thanks for joining me and we'll see you in the next one.